Algebra 1, number 4.6a, we're talking about reasoning strategies, and now we're talking about deductive reasoning. So deductive reasoning is a logical, step-by-step -step system of thinking, and we use given facts that lead to a conclusion. A conditional statement is a statement that says, if A, then B. It would be like if I said, if Bob has big feet, then he has big shoes. That's a conditional statement, see? The size of his feet are a condition for his shoes size, see? The A part of the statement is called the antecedent or the hypothesis. So the beginning is the hypothesis, okay? The B part of the statement is called the consequent or the conclusion. Then we have the converse. The converse of a conditional statement is made by switching the B for the A. So I say, if Bob has big shoes, then he has big feet. See, we just switched it around. So instead of saying big feet first, now we say big shoes first. See, that's the converse. So if we have a conditional statement, if the product of two numbers equals zero, then one of the numbers must be a zero. Well, that's true, because when you multiply by zero, it's zero. So one of them has to be a zero, if not both, right? The converse would be, if at least one of the numbers is zero, then the product of two numbers is zero. Well, that's true also. So that conditional statement and its converse are true. But be careful of false statements or false converse. Conditional statement like, if a cat has four legs, then everything with four legs is a cat is false, right? Or a conditional statement of, if a figure is a square, then it has four sides. Well, that's true. But the converse is not true. If a figure has four sides, then it's a square. By flipping it around with the if and then, we get a false statement. It's not true, because rectangles, parallelograms, and rhombus have four sides, and they're not squares, so that's false. So the converse could be true or could be false, okay? If conditional statements are true, their converse may not be true. Well, that's true. Well, the converse of it would be, if a converse is not true, then the conditional statement may be true. That's true. So remember, the converse can be true sometimes, or sometimes it's not true, right? Meow? Anything with four legs is a, is a cat? Hmm. Now, for another example of false deductive reasoning, there's a really funny video from Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and the link is in this description, okay? All right, we're going to talk about inductive reasoning in the next video, and that's what Sherlock Holmes used, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.